Hello and welcome to our screencast. This is just a quick video. As you can see here, I've got two video files. It's actually one movie, but it's been split into two files. One 700 megabytes, and so is the other. So they can both fit onto two CDs. But now I've got them split, I've decided that I no longer wish to have them split. And I want to rejoin them. But I don't want to have to re-encode them all again, because that's one, it's time consuming. And I obviously don't want to affect the video quality of the, of the actual videos. So... I'm going to show you how I would rejoin these two files. It's a really simple way, really quick. So first you're going to need to download an application called AVI Demux. I'm going to leave the link in the description, so just check the link and you go to download to so download it. It's a free application and it's for Windows and Linux and Mac as well. So down at the bottom there's the Mac version and you can just download it from here. So once you've downloaded the application, you want to launch it. Then the first process is to just find the first file. So go to open, go to file then go to open, find where it is on your hard drive, so on mine it's just on the desktop, part 1, open it, click build time map, this, this process will take a few seconds. Then click yes, and this second process will take a few more seconds. That's the part one done. Then you want to go to file. And this time you want to go down to append. Find file two, part two, which I wish to join to part one. Open. Build time up again. Click yes again. Rebuilding frames. I don't know what it means by that, but just go for this process. Only take a few seconds again. So that's both files now. So then you want to go down to save. Save video. Choose where you want to save it. So I'm going to say desktop. And then choose what you want to call it. So I'm just going to call it movie for this purpose. Click save. Then you want to click go oh, yes again. OK. Then it'll encode it, but it's not actually a recode of the video like you would expect, but it's going to be a really fast process, a lot quicker than re-encoding it, so using an alternative application would take a lot longer, but this is just joining it. Done. Okay. You can now close the application. And as you move it, what you need to do now is just put a file extension on it, so it's an AVI, like the original two files. And there you go, the file's here. And now this will play both files straight through and give it a go, try it out and play play the other two videos, then play that and see if you notice any difference in quality and you'll notice it's the exact same as the original files, but it's obviously joined both of them together. Really quick process, really quick way of doing it, a lot quicker than re-encoding it using an alternative application. A quick note before I do go is... If you do want to join two files in this manner, two video files in this manner, without after going through the recoding process, you've got your two videos have got to meet a, a couple of criteria, and that is they both have got to be the same video type. And I don't just mean by video type, and they both need to be AVI files or whatever, because AVI is just a container, and a lot of different video formats can fall under the category a AVI. So they need to be the same. So, for example, if they're DivX, they both need to be DivX. If they're both XVID, they both need to be XVID files or whatever. And if you're unsure what your video files, video file type is, you can use an application called Media Info, and I will leave the link in the description. And it's a free application, and it will actually tell you what the actual videos, what are, the actual video files are, what kind of file they are. So they need to be the same video types also they need to be the same resol screen resolution aspect ratio all that kind of thing so really they need to be coming from the same source these two video files they need to have been encoded the same way originally or if not you're probably going to come in, you're going to find a lot of problems trying to join them but if they do meet them criteria then this process is the best way and easiest way to join files sorry to join video files but if you've got two completely different files from different sources, then you're going to have to probably re-encode them using some sort of 
re-encoder like Visual Hub or so on, or even Video Monkey or whatever it might be. But if you don't want to go for the re-encoding process and the both files are the exact same, then this is the way to go, I think. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, please comment, rate and subscribe.